Ken and Gary, yeah, you've been all over this, uh, going to the gate. Just below even money, now dropping to three to five last. Click is three, Shania. Into the backstretch, field of the 11th, the second elimination of the 97 Breeders' Crown. Three-year-old pacing fillies, and they're off. Artistic pleasure leaves hard at the inside, and there's Village Blues. Bill Wellwood just spoke of her, and she is driven to the lead early by Paul McDonnell, Shania, between fillies and keep your pants off, driving hard. She's three deep by the eighth pole, carried along the inside by Artistic Pleasure. So Western is back in fifth. Shania is off stride in that first turn. The last pair leaving were Dragon So and Fancyful Hanover. Shania made a break costly for her, but she's back down pacing quickly. Village Blues is up top by almost four lengths. Artistic Pleasure claims second at the inside. The quarter was in a huge 26 and 2 rocketing to the quarter. Village Blues is on the lead and Paul McDonnell wanting to rate her into the lower turn. Artistic Pleasure. This year's Fan Hanover Stakes winner is along the inside second. So Western at the inside following up in third and claiming fourth position. At the half is Dragon So. She's just ahead of Fancyful Hanover. Then back to keep your pens off and Shania five more lengths is trailing 55 and 3 the halftime village blues setting a hot pace but still going strong as they enter the final three eighths artistic pleasure following along in second so western is third and here comes dragon so campbell brings her to the outside fourth fancyful hanover moise up spots this one a second over fifth three more lengths to keep your pens off and shania will be unable to get to the final she's lagging back there in the trailing position Village Blues is trying to get away on the field. 124, the three quarters, 28 and two. Third split, they hit the top of the stretch. Second elimination of the 1997 Breeders' Crown. Three-year-old Philly Pace, it's been all Village Blues on the lead since the get-go. Artistic pleasure along the inside second. Here comes So Western, brought out from third. Fancyful Hanover now claims fourth. So Western, one last lunge for Hennessy, she'll take it. So Western in front, collars Village Blues, then Artistic Pleasure was third, and Fancyful Hanover is fourth. 153 and four, they just missed the track record by two-fifths of a second, and of course it is an upset at eight to one for So Western in the second crown elimination, three-year-old Philly Pace. Gary and Ken, that's the story. Back to and you. And there is the winner of this Breeders' Crown three-year-old Philly Pace elimination. So Western owned by Dina Frost and Suzanne Blood of Florida, trained by Peter Blood and Wally Hennessy, the winning driver. Down to the winner's circle and Ken Workington. Ken? And we have winning connections, Wally Hennessy back again. And we'll talk first with uh, winning trainer Peter Blood. Uh, this Philly's race lines, as I mentioned, has been full of excuses. Yeah, she's had a lot of excuses. She was in heat in Delaware at the Jugget and just didn't do anything there. And then a uh, little bad post in Lexington, but uh, we got a little break tonight. You got a break and you got a great drive by uh, Wally Hennessy. Uh, Wally, uh, you weren't going to be part of that hot early pace, were you? Well, I was going about where all I could go, really, to hold my position. And when that other uh, Philly made a break, you know, it changed the whole outcome of the race. And the, the speed of the race kept going, and that worked to our advantage. Okay, and right here, you're going to uh, actually, as they turn for home, that's uh, Village Blues with a big lead with Paul McDonnell. Did you think you were going to catch her here? Actually, at the head of the stretch, no, I thought I was probably going to be second. But uh, halfway down, like, uh, I can see his was starting to tire pretty good. And I had a fresh one, and but she got up and beat her pretty handy. Think she has any shot at uh, Steinem's place next week? Well, we'll have to see, you know, get a good post and, you know, some racing luck. Okay, well, good luck next week. Wally Hennessy and Peter Blood, back to you, Gary. All right, Ken, thanks so much, and congratulations to the connections of So Western, a $21,000 yearling that starred in the Pennsylvania Sire Stakes.